Hello friends and welcome to another one of my videos on AI art. Today we are not going to do any generations but we are going to show you how to manipulate the generation to suit your needs. Now one of the most common use of mid journey is to create logos for your company. Now as you can see from this logo that I have created, I wanted to create a logo with the title Mirage but it came up with a strange title M-U-R-W-G. So mid journey has this problem, mid journey actually cannot capture your specific text input so it makes up text as it pleases which means that the logos that you have generated can often be absolutely useless so i'm going to show you how you can take one of these generations one of these renderings and and use photoshop to transform this logo so that your letterings can be used inside this logo so for this video i'm going to use this logo design which i really liked for my own company name the name of my company is Prohelica, which in English means Mirage. However, Midjourney could not give me the letters Mirage, and of course, it would never give me the letters Prohelica. Anyways, it doesn't matter because I know how to use Photoshop, and I'm going to transform this logo into I'm going to transform this logo into what I want. So let's copy it first. In order to copy this, you have to uh, open Photoshop and copy it to Photoshop, which I've already done. Now, the first instinct of most people is to just go ahead and select it uh, very quickly and then use content aware field. Now I'm going to do the same but I'll show you why content aware field is probably a very bad idea for this type of logo at least for this uh, AI generated image. So I'm just going to zoom in here and I'm going to uh, go to edit content aware field. So as you can see uh, it's all just uh, jumbled up of course, now the reason it's all jumbled up is because it's selecting from all these areas. So even if you remove these areas from the selection, you will see, you will still see that it's all jumbled up. So I'm removing all these areas which I don't want as a field. So you can see that it cleared up this area, but it still leaves this kind of a marking which is hard to miss, which is impossible to miss. So what is the best approach for this kind of scenario? Well, I have an idea and I'm going to walk you through that idea of, of how I can use this logo and make the necessary transformations and Photoshop it so that it can be used as a logo for my company. Okay, guys, so let's cancel this. So the first thing we want to do is we want to mark out this area of the logo in a nice shape so that it looks natural and as part of the design. So how we can do this is we can um, take another layer. and then draw a rectangle covering as closely as possible okay so i think we have what we needed and then we put some kind of a fill on this layer let's take the brown color and then let's just fill it with this color and now we use the bend tool to perfectly align this or place this on the text so we have this rectangle here and then you go to transform warp and then from here we select arc so now we can control the arc we put it down so that it only just covers the text that we need so now if you want to select this part and erase this we can simply select our background and control click the layer above so now we have a very nice selection over this okay now before we work on our background image, make sure that we double click it so that it's no longer our background image. And now we can go to uh, edit and content aware fill. So again we have the same problem but this time we are going to be absolutely manual. So press custom here and then because the color from here and color from here are the most accurate colors. Uh, that we want to replace inside so we start selecting from here so as you can see it's blending in very nicely so this part has blended in very nicely so we can take some more samples from here some more samples from here and we can take some samples from here and samples from here so as you can see the blending is actually very nice and this is this is enough for us. I feel that this is we can work with this. So we say okay. And Photoshop has created 
this uh, nice layer over the original layer as you can see here okay in order to do that let's duplicate this top layer okay let's say our solid block bent layer let's duplicate this and uh, let's move it a couple of notches above it and let's have a different color for this um, let's make it this color and let's uh, make it a little bigger just five percent bigger and let's see okay so this much we are okay so select the layer below it and control click on this image here so it will select the shape from the layer above now you can deselect it and if you come back to the bottom layer and press delete you can see that the lower layer is cleared only the remaining only this line remains so now you can actually start working on your logo so what we want to do is we want to make this color similar to the colors that is used over here so uh, let's do this uh, in order to do that we have to make sure that whatever color we apply it doesn't spill over to other parts of the image so for here we press this button which locks the selection to the pixels which means that no matter what color you do no matter uh, let's let's select a color no matter how, what brush you run over it it will only affect the pixels in this area so now we have done that so we want to select a light color uh, let's say we want to select uh, this color we press i to get the color picker and press over here and then you press a darker color and then you, and then you select a darker color let's say this color and make your brush small and make sure that it's one of those soft brushes and then just roughly brush on top here you don't have to be accurate because we're going to uh, make changes to this and then select filter blur gaussian blur okay so this looks round about okay and we're going to do one more thing we're going to go to um inner glow and because we you see that there's a glow here we're going to add an inner glow so you select the inner glow and then select the light color of the glow from here and make sure that the contour is like this you have some options for contour you can the contour can be like this or like this or any other pattern i'm going to select the contour to be like this okay and then you do a drop shadow select the drop shadow make the opacity visible and now over this we are going to write the name of our logo so the name that we wanted to write was so this is the name of the company so i'm just going to make it big actually i need to be bigger I need to be bigger okay now we have placed it to the center now we're going to bend it using the same technique transform warp and then go to arc bend it so now what we want to do is we want to make this letter look like the rest of the logo in terms of look and feel so we select the uh, the lettering and uh, come to the effects panel here and select gradient overlay so um, we can put this gradient over here but before that we need to change the blend mode to normal so if you ask me how you can create the same gradient that is very simple you actually let's imagine that your gradient is the basic gradient like this so all you need to do is you go to gradient tab here select this color and select a darker color from here and from here select this and then select a lighter color from here your letter looks like the other parts but you have to do a little bit more you have to create this highlight so for that we go to inner glow and uh, we need to make the inner glow brighter to increase the opacity 
So now I would like to give this lettering a bit of depth so that it stands out in the logo. And a good technique to do that is to um, to uh, make a copy of this layer by dragging it over here. And then you have to nudge it to the keyboard. So for nudging, you have to select the move tool or press V and then press down once and make another copy and then go to the layer below and press down once more. So now your logo has a certain depth. Of course, one thing you can do is you can go back to the previous two layers and you can uh, remove the inner glow. Remove the inner glow. So now it looks better, but we need to do one more thing. We need to add a drop shadow. So go to the most bottom uh, text layer into the FX panel and make a drop shadow. So now this letter looks properly floating inside the logo. So we still have some more things to do. We need to erase this, but erasing this is actually very easy. Again, you go to the bottom layer, the layer that contains the graphics using the rectangle marquee tool. So you select this and use edit content aware fill and you, and you do auto select uh, the auto select seems to work fine but there's still some work to do we'll like we'll take that so in order to get rid of these blemishes what i will do is that i'll take another layer on top of this and just use the clone stamp tool which is here Press Alt to select color from here and clone it over here. Clone it over this area. Just do it roughly. Just smudge over it. I'm, I, I'll assure you this will all be gone by the technique that I'm going to show you. Once you've done that, select this layer and go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur and select relatively low value. So this looks like it has gone, it has vanished. And now do the same with this bottom part of this logo. And this is gone. Okay, so now we have a nice logo, but there is something missing. What is missing is that this part looks empty and this part also looks empty. So we can put something in these two parts. And for this, I have an idea. We can put some stars here and over here we can put some, uh, some, some leaves or something. So I actually already have those ready. So let's bring them on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this shape, this width shape and put it there. So the file is actually an EPS file which I've downloaded from Vectizy. So you can just take any EPS file and directly drag and drop it to Photoshop. And then now I'm just going to copy from here. Okay, so we're just going to align this and resize it so that it fits the area of the space underneath. And then make a copy by pressing Alt and dragging. And then I'm going to reflect this by pressing Ctrl T and edit, transform, edit, transform, flip, horizontal. So I'm just going to, okay. So now I'm happy with the placement. So let's merge these two layers by pressing Ctrl E over the top one. And now we want to give the same look as this letter. So now we can actually copy this layer style and place it over here. So let's go to this layer. This was the, this copy layer. And then let's copy layer style. Come back to this layer. Let's name it wheat. And right click here. Paste layer style. So now we have pasted this layer style over here. Now what to do about this area? So we can actually add some stars to this area. Now what can you do about this area? So we can add some stars to this area. I have downloaded some stars so we can use them. So let's uh, let's see our downloaded stars. 
this is this file so let's just open it in photoshop and copy and paste it over here we need to scale this okay it is uh, we need to place or drag this layer above the other things uh, okay needs to go up a little bit more okay we are happy and we need to scale it down a little bit more so the stars in place now we're going to color it using the same color scheme so again you go to the stars layer let's call it stars and then paste the layer style it was already copied so you just simply need to paste the layer style so now the stars layer style is pasted perhaps we can add a bit of a drop shadow so double click here so pretty much our logo is done now we can do some more if you think that you want to add something here or if you want to add something here you can actually take another shape you can perhaps take a leaf shape or any other shape that you want to use and using the same techniques you can uh, place uh, those uh, shapes here and you can uh, use your copied layer style and paste them here so that it looks like part of the same circle so friends i hope you like my video and my techniques helps you out with fine tuning your logos that you have created from mid journey so hope to see you in the next video with some other tricks and trips and techniques regarding mid journey and ai art generation so see you next time goodbye